Okay, another quick tip. Um, this has to do with snapping. Something I use like every single day. So let's go ahead and go through this. You can see if you want to do your regular rotators, there's rotate, there's move, and there's scale, W-E-R. Now the snapping thing is going to be V for actually doing motion. So let's go ahead and make three copies of this. Control C, V, one, two, three. Let's move one over here. Let's move one over here. And one back over here. Let's make a little room. Um, you said the rotate is the E. I'm gonna hit Control. Now, you can never get it perfectly. That's the drag go around but you'll still have a gap no matter what you do or you're gonna have overlay flicker right even if you snap the snap has to be dedicated to the size of your object so instead press and hold V roll over any vertice of an object you want and it's gonna find the next vertice of the next object so I'm gonna press and hold here I mean I'm just gonna hold V click and drag to the corner of the next guy and it should be absolutely seamless. Same with this. I'm gonna press and hold this vertice, and I'm gonna snap it to the outside. And we need to rotate one more, and that is our E key. Hit Control, rotate 90, and then hold down V. Whoops, you have to be in move. Hold down V. Let's grab its inside vertice. Whoa. Pull its vertice and let's bring it to where we want to place it, which is over here. And there you go. You have a completely seamless box with no edges. That's how you do snaps. Okay, hope this helped. I'll see you next time.